hi all welcome in next video in this video we are going to learn about uh, session storage how we can uh, save the data in mvc application using a jquery and using a user session so uh, basically a uh, session is something like when the user is logging into the application one uh, separate session for that user is gets created on a browser okay so how that user can utilize that particular session that session storage for their uh, purposes that we will be learning about it so what we are going to uh, see yes uh, firstly what is session storage and how we are saving a data in a session and how we can uh, get the data from the session how we can uh, delete the existing data from the session and uh, saving different types of values in a session okay here yeah, so it's a basically pure uh, develop uh, development purpose uh, thing like if if developer is developing something and he wants to keep that uh, keep some data for that particular user so he can keep uh, save that data in a user session so what will happen it, it is a for, like it's, it's a fast process it, it will not take a lot of time like the um, we like uh, we are uh, calling the database and storing data in a database and then we are again retrieving a data from the database here we will be just storing session uh, storing a data on a browser and once a uh, user successfully like complete his purpose uh, like user logged out and this data will automatically get deleted okay so what is the purpose of session storage so basically session storage is used for storing a data on a browser it enables developer to save and retrieve data of, of a different values unlike a local in session local storage session storage only keeps data for a particular session means if multiple users are there for that particular application so each session will create a separate session storage for the each user okay so that is something like it's a user specific and data is cleared once the user closes the browser browser window okay so it's basically until the user is logged in in that particular application this data will be available once date once user logged out from the application the data will get banished and clear okay so moving ahead how to set the data in a session storage so for that particular we use a session storage a specific keyword in a jquery it's already predefined so we just need to uh, use a session storage dot set item so it takes a key value pair so name is a here a key and whatever the value we are passing is a value get session means session storage again we will use a session storage it's a predefined and we will pass the key name and it will fetch the data from the session storage delete means remove item okay or we can directly uh, like uh, if user is logging off so we can directly clear the session so in this way user can see the their values okay so user can store a list of data as well as you can see uh, fruits so we have a multiple items in a fruit so all the comma separated item will get saved as a single uh, single value so that for that we can use a json stringify okay so it will stringify as a single uh, a single item and it will save against that key and same way we can save a object like if we have any uh, json list of json values so we can directly save as a single json object okay so let's see in a browser and see how we can uh, use it so i already implemented in my test application so let me show you how i'm gonna i'm going to tell you like you can use it in your local application so this is my test application so i already used it and i'm showing you how how you can uh, develop this particular thing so i created a one text box here this is the save data so whatever i will be putting here that will get saved in a session that i will be showing you and once uh, user will uh, get uh, click on the get data in this button so data will get fetched from the session and it will get displayed here on the result okay so let's uh, let's do it so like i'm um, i'm writing here taken this okay and i'm um, firstly let me show you how you can see the storage function f12 okay 
so once you open this um, this window so what will be happening we will be having uh, this application uh, menu so click on this and here you will be getting local storage and session storage whatever the url you have been logged in whatever the application you are you are using that will be having this particular uh, storage window so once you saving the data in a session that will get appear here okay so let's uh, take an image okay so let's save it okay i'm closing it will again open okay so i did not put any uh, pop up or something as alert like it has been saved so let's see now it, it's clicked and saved so go here see the name is saved as a taken page means this data is saved in a session storage now we will have to retrieve this data so we will click here and see the taken page come here it means this uh, retrieved okay so this way we can implement it on our uh, local application so what the code i have written what the changes you required that i'm going to explain next so for that this particular what i did i added one uh, view that is session storage okay so inside this view what i did it's a session storage you can see um session storage so this uh, this reference is not required okay so what we need to do here uh, this reference is required jquery min.js this function be created for saving the data this function be created for retrieving the data this is a script js script and apart from what i did added one uh, text box here and two buttons one for saving the data save session data and get session data and as a result i added a blank label so once uh, successfully the result gets fetched from the session it will get appeared here okay so let's go to our uh, main application and make the changes let's see how it is uh, implementing how it gets implemented so firstly let me <coughs> add add one view here so where is the view this is the home so let's add a one view here add view dc5 add okay so i'm adding a blank view session storage okay session storage it's using a layout so it will be added okay so now the view has been added successfully so this view will uh, get returned but what is the controller the home controller so we also need to add one implementation method here in this controller so let's add it so that this view can be returned successfully from the controller so we have a view pdf uh, we have a chart so that's the same way we can use for the session storage So what is the norm, name of our view session storage okay so this has been added and now the page will get returned as a page play. let's see it okay so we did not add a on a main menu so let it be loaded we will be directly loading here and afterwards uh, we will be adding on a main menu inside the home it's taking a little bit time
so meantime i think we can add in um, we are using a layout right there layout.cshtml okay so inside this we have a chart so let's add one more uh, item here that's an storage so that it can be visual on a main menu so what we will be doing here is this one storage okay it's added so next time it will get appeared so now you test okay so now this is available so it will not be open here but home slash session stop bridge see the page is created successfully okay so now let's move to the next change so we also added this particular here in this main menu so what will be happening here we will be next time we will be seeing session storage you can see the it is coming here already okay so session storage and the name not this particular so what will be name here session storage this one so we will be putting here control okay so now this will appear next time and what further we can do here so what more changes be required this is our whole uh, file for the session storage so we added some differences for the jquery here and we added some design okay so we are taking it as it is so that we can we are not losing on too much time here on making it again okay so let's do it okay so we have a difference we have this save data session method we have this get session data method in a j in a jquery in a script section so on clicking on save button the save data is getting called on clicking on get button get session data is getting called and on this level we are displaying the session value and this is the text box from where we are reading the txt name so from where we are reading the data to store in a session okay so let's run it again and see okay so this has been added here you can see session storage is coming so if you clicking here the page is loading successfully and if you see here in a session right now so go to the application this over you nothing is nothing is saved here so what we will be doing just saving here save taken page data okay so let's save it Let's see how the see save taken page data now it's been saved as a name so if we wanted to change a key so we can also do that and what we will be doing clicking on get data this saved taken page data will fetched and display here so we are clicking here see save taken page data so this is all that we did and if we want we can uh, delete also 
so but delete is also very simple it's not kind of so much tricky thing so what we need to do just we need to use a remove okay remove item and the key name we need to pass and if you using a session storage clear so all the session data will get clear and storing a list means the same way we will be uh, putting on a comma separated values and we will be stringify that particular list and it will get saved as an as a list as an value okay so that's all thank you so much for watching let me know in case of an, any query thank you we'll see you on the next video